May gabi sa tanan. Good evening. Before we start with our Wednesday Bible study, uh, I enjoin you to have our opening prayer. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. O God and loving Father, we ask you to just bless us as we continue with our study. Send for the Holy Spirit to guide us and lead us and inspire us, O oh, oh Lord, in our study. All these things we ask from you, O God, with the loving intercession of our Blessed Mother and Saint Joseph. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and never shall be, world without end. Amen. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. Welcome once again. So, the parable of the mustard seed, if I'm going to read again, he said, with that, with what can we compare the kingdom of God, or what parable will we use for it? It is like a mustard seed. When we sown, when sown upon the ground, is the smallest of all the seeds on the earth. Yet, when it is sown, it grows and becomes the greatest of all shrubs, and puts forth large branches so that the birds of the air can make nests in its shade. No? So, mustard seed. So, we know all of the characteristic of a mustard seed. Mustard seed is a very small seed. No? It grows and then it becomes a bush. But it becomes uh, large. No? Siguro mga uh, the, the, the tall tallest nga kaning uh, mustard seed siguro mga two story building no uh, tas tas po nga tree but then it grows large sideways pa pa kwan ba uh, pa, pa sideways ba uh, pa kilid no and it grows anywhere everywhere and remember the bush tree is very ugly no laing if tanawon sagbot nga di ka kasabot o kung sa itsura sa bus no and then pangutana is why is this compared to the kingdom of god why is it compared to a tree no so kung tanawon nimo kung sa man ang tree nganong i-compare man ni sa tree so in verse uh, 22 no verse 22 sa first reading sa Ezekiel. Kung tanaw ni mo ang Ezekiel, no? First reading sa Ezekiel. At tuta sa verse 22. Thus says the Lord God, I myself will take a sprig from the lofty top of a cedar. I will sit it out. I will break off a tender one from the topmost of its young twigs. I myself will plant it on a high and lofty mountain. On the mountain height of Israel, I will plant it in order that it may produce boughs and bear fruit and becomes a noble cedar. No? He's talking about the cedar. Dito kuno siya manguha o gamay nga sut, kanang gamay nga salingsing. No? Gikan sa lofty top of the cedar. Dito pinakatumoy yung cedar is uh, the cedar of Lebanon that is a very very big tree. no? And then I will break up the tender one. Akong i-break up ang tender one and then I will I will uh, plant it. no? On the mount, mount, uh, mountain height of Israel I will plant it. Yung siya so that it will produce bow, dagko nga sanga, and mamunga siya, and it becomes a noble, noble, noble sedar. Kung tanawang po ni mo sa Psalm 19, kinsa kuno ga plant? Sa seed, ang ginoo. Kinsa'y gatiman? Ang ginoo. Kinsa'y namili o asa niya itanong? Ang ginoo. Unsa iyang katuyuan para mamunga mudako ang mga sanga mamunga og mahimong dako nga kahoy Can we not uh, compare that to our to our life Kinsa may gatanom 
kinsay ga create nato no kinsay gahatag diha sa sa womb sa ato ang ginikanan para ma tao kita mahimo kitang kanang usa ka bata no magpakatao ining kalibutanan kinsay nga nagtanom kinsay nagcreate nato ang atong ginikanan procreator lang no ang expectation sa Ginoo tanang tao nga ihang gitanom tanang tao iyang gimug nga gi-create niya puro gyud maayo iyang yung gipili nga sila maayo gyud ang kanang produkto maayo ang produce maayo ang ilahang pagkatao ambot unsay nahitabo nganong sukwahi man sa iyang pagtanom tanaw nato sa Psalm uh, 92 verse 13 to 15 no they are planted in the house of the Lord. They flourish in the course of God. Asa sila giplant? They are planted in the house of the Lord. They are planted in the kingdom of God. They are planted in the kingdom of God here on earth. No? They are planted in the kingdom of heaven here on earth. No? And they flourish in the course of our God, in the house of God. They flourish. In old age, they still produce fruit. They are always green and full of sap. Showing that the Lord is upright. He is my rock and there is no unrighteous in Him. God is really good because He created us. He planted us in a way that is suited for us. And He expected us fruit. Because He is planting us right in His courtyard. He planted us in His house. No? Just imagine that. No? That is why He expected us that we will produce, just like with the tree of Lebanon, the seed of the tree of Lebanon, it, it helps in building temple. No? In Ezekiel chapter 17, you can see this one. No? It is just like the mustard seed. Na it grows. No? It grows. And it becomes a seed of the birds. Where birds are resting their nest. Also said, the kingdom of God is, is as if someone would scatter seed on the ground and would keep and rise right and day and the seed would sprout and grow he does not know how the earth produces it of itself first the stalk and the head then the full grain in the head but when the grain is ripe at once he goes he goes in with his uh, sickle sickle ba? pang harvest no ang buto sa binisaya ng sikol no because the harvest has come no he talks about the seed the seed is an analogy of sowing seed what kind of soil or ground am i no it talks again seed kung mo yung kag seed kanang tanaw nato ug unsa nga klase nga seed ug Asa man siya gipatubo ug unsa man ang kanana ang uh, soil yuta ug environment na adin ha Kay ano man the story man siya kingdom of God The kingdom of God is uh, the basilia gitawag ni basilia no mahimo hapit na may mong basilika or the kingdom or the rule it talks about the kingdom the rule the sovereignty and the dominion. We will see this uh, in the Lord's Prayer. No? Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. So after sowing, the farmer is uh, no longer in control of the farm. Just like uh, you see, Mamert Gestoria Gania. No longer in control. Matulugan niya, mamataan niya, no? Of course, sometimes na piste, iya pong bumbahan, and so forth and so on. Asagi ka na ang mga piste diha, 
nga mo'y nagkaon sa tanom, di ta kibalo, pareha ni gingging, ang iyang mga tanom, daghang kay snail, di ta kibalo, asa manggi ka ni snail, no? Asta ka ng alimatok bito, daghang kayo, no? Because we don't know. The farmer doesn't know. Only faith in God to grow. Not in our effort, but uh, to the will of God. Kabubuton sa ginoo, ug iyahang pag-atiman sa pagpatubo ni Ana. No? So, brothers and sisters, uh, unsa may mensahe ini? Ang kingdom puno sa ginoo, magsugot sa gamay. Kaya nag-istorya man siya ang mustard seed. And it ends to a bigger tree of uh, the tree of the cedar of Lebanon that will build temples, that will build houses and so forth and so on. Or a mustard seed that will become a shade to those who are to those who are uh, kanana ang third to those who wants to have their own kanana ang place to live not just like with the birds in the sky they they build their nests no? and other animals take shade how they grow to a large boss to a big uh, tree of the cedar of Lebanon it keeps growing and it spread just like in Daniel chapter 2 no the vision fills the whole earth so yang vision the 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 growth of the kingdom of God started from a mustard seed and it grows to the whole earth. And you, Jesus shows this in the language of the prophets, no? A great tree where birds uh, come and nest. Meaning mudaghan yu siya kay alang alang ang mga langgam pod ang mga kananang gasalig sa Kanana ang kingdom of God, ang mga katawahan sa Diyos, mudaghan kay na ilang kapasilungan na ilahang kadangpanan. No? Mooy gibuhat sa ginoo ang kanana ang ilang puyanan. Gibuhat sa ginoo ang kingdom sa ginoo din his kalibutan. Kung tanawin mo sa first reading, no? tanawin mo sa first reading, yun siya nga, Ah, derita sa ubos verse 23 no? to 24 under it every kind of bird no, every kind of bird will live in the shade of the branches will rest winged creatures of every kind all the trees of the field shall know that I am the Lord I bring low the high tree I make high the low tree I dry up the green tree and make the dry tree flourish. I, the Lord, have spoken. I will accomplish it. Unsa yung but pasabog, no? Katong mga kahoy ko nung taagas na, I will make them low. Katong ko nung kahoy nga na dry up na, na green tree, I will make the dry tree flourish. Iyang gat giatiman, no? Iyang giatiman ang tanan. But the most important, kinsa ka tong nauna, mo'y ipaulahi. Kinsa tong ipaulahi, mo'y akong ipauna. Kinsa ka tong nauna, nga ning tubo, ning dagko, na himong mga kahoy, nga na uh, fruitful na, kinahanglan sila, mutabang sa katong walay bunga. Muhatag sila, nutrients, muhatag sila, o ayuda dito sa mga kahoy nga kanang kulang no para po mo flores mo na ang gi padayag sa Ginoo sa iyahang paghatag kanato sa gingharian sa langit nga ni si Jesus no pagahuman niya og uh, sa last supper unsa gyud po ni Jesus pagahuman nila inom sa pan asa uh, bino o kaon sa pan ang lawas o dugo ni Kristo during the last supper or the cedar meal iyang gibakos ang tuwalya o neto siya sa mga disipulo o iyahang giugasan ang mga tiil o miingon siya 
buhat ta kini sama sa akong gibuhat kaninyo kay mo mo ni butasan po sa Ginoo mo ni ang gingharian sa langit dili matuman ang gingharian sa langit og kanang ang nauna nauna lang sila ang naulahi naulahi na mura ka na og pyramid pogi <laughs> kadundong ka sa pyramid games ana nga pogi ang nauna moy nabulahan ang naulahi wala nay wala nay bahin bat kini ni asya dili tanan magtinabangay katong nauna sila na pud ang mo sila ay magantos para sa mga nga naulahi nga serbisyohan nila para po mutubo no so this is the symbol not like the tree not like the tree nga maginusara lang siya but also ang usa ka kahoy nga daghan kuno siya no yung siya daghan ka yung mga klase no yung bitaw siya oh under in Under it, every kind of bird will live in the shade of its branches, will rest winged creatures of every kind. No? Of every kind. Every kind. Kaduhan yun niya gikwa, no? Every kind of bird. Every kind of creatures. Kung sa may butpasabot niya, dili lang para sa Israel ang kahoy ang kingdom of God ga si Susama sa usa ka kahoy usa sa mortal seed nga ningdagko na na himong seed but ingon siya nga para kini sa tanan Gentiles no? para kini sa tanan sa uban nga mga katawhan nga atong kabigon diha sa pagtuo nga si Jesus mao ang manulunda siya ang uh, misaya siya ang maghatag ka nato kaluwasan sa tanan no So it becomes universal, no? It becomes a kanana ang a Catholic church, no? Where other Christians are also welcome and invited. Just imagine, the seed becomes the kingdom of God. It becomes the body of Christ. It becomes the people of God. It becomes the church and community. Oh. Take, take a look on the second reading. Tanaw ni mo sa second reading. Ingin siya nga, So we are always confident, even though we know that while we are at home in the body, we are aware from the Lord. For we walk by faith, not by sight. Yes, we do not have confidence. And we would rather be away from the body and at home with the Lord. So whether we are at home or away, We make it our aim to please Him. For all of us must appear before the, this judgment seat of Christ so that it may receive recompense for what has been done in the body, whether good or ever. No? What has been done of the kingdom of the body, whether good or bad, We may receive recompense, no? We are accountable of what we are doing, no? You are the seed of God, no? Iyon siya nga, we make it our aim to please Him, no? Iyon siya nga, we should not be confident na we have our faith, that we walk our faith, but we have lost our sight. To help our brothers and sisters, we lose sight of the plan of the kingdom of God to be universal, to evangelize other people, to spread the gospel of good news to other people. Nakaroon ng istorya tag other people. Kami Omar na problemahan pa misa nominal Catholics. No, tagang ayon binunyagan pila tumal. 80% of our binunyagan nga mga katoliko wala na manimba walay pakabana no kani nagisgot ni siya ah, how about others how about the other gentiles kita gentiles mo ta na pag other gentiles nga wala pag yung but ang atong problema karon two prong after 500 years of christianity duha ang atong problema inside and out what is inside our nominal which is 80% no Madala na og faith lang. Madala na og walking by faith. We don't see 
an act, what we can do to them. Within the church, there are so many that needs to be, to, needs to be can and reach out. So, whether we are at home or away, whether we are in our inside or away, the most important, yung bitaw ko nga, na ay atong tabango noon sa, sa sunod, nominal Catholics, na ay tabungo noon sa gawas. We make it our aim. We make it our aim to please God. How could you please God? How can you please God as a mustard seed? To be fruitful, to heal, to uh, to be bearers of the good news of salvation to others, to bring our brothers and sisters who are no longer going to church, baptize Catholics to go back to the church, strengthen the body, strengthen the church. No? Because the church is becoming weaker and weaker. People are no longer interested in the holy sacrifice of the Mass, the Holy Eucharist. But God is calling us to be pleasing to Him. For all of us must appear before the judgment seat of Christ so that each may receive recompense for what he has done in the body, whether good or evil. So brothers and sisters, the question in your reflection, you are the seed of God. What kind of soil are you planted? What kind of tree are you now? Are you fruitful? Are people take shades on your branches and examples and encouragement? Are they encouraged if you are talking? Are they take the examples? Are they, pu- uh, are they put their necks in you and your community and confident for their future with the Lord? Is your tree also a fruit to build the brothers and sisters, the church and community? Are we all ready for the harvest? But when the grain is ripe, at once he goes in with his sickle because the harvest has come. O glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, as now and ever shall be, without end. Amen. And then the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. Salamat kayo, o maing gabi, satanan.